Did you know we can grow vegetables year round in Florida? Well, we can, and fall is one of the great times to get started. Ed Thralls, our extension horticulture agent and master gardener coordinator, is with us today. And Ed, I love my vegetables. I know you do too. <laughs> I love my vegetables, yeah. and I love being here in Florida. Yeah, and, and this fall is really the kickoff of the gardening season. A lot of people don't understand that as a first time gardener in Florida. Yeah. So, uh, September. You got nine months of good vegetable gardening ahead of you, and if you're real selective, you got 12 months. I know. I was just going to ask you why, and I think you answered it there. <laughs> that, that it's nine months at least of great gardening because the vegetables kind of like the uh, the warmish to coolish time of the year. Absolutely, uh, a lot of sunshine still here in Florida that time of year, even though it's the rainy season. It's tapering off. It's getting it, toward the end of the hurricane season. It's a great time to start growing warm season vegetables again. Yes, it really is. And there's a whole bunch of we can grow. And we have a whole basket of different types here. What are some of the things? Like I got a pepper in my hand. Oh, peppers grow very, very well while the soil's nice and warm. And they'll grow right into about um, late November, early December. You'll be harvesting those when you start them in uh, August or September. And you can buy transplants or you can grow them yourself. I actually start my transplants in about... Oh, July, so July's I can get them in. A, July is an excellent time to start your seedlings, to get them ready to plant out in uh, late August, early September. But yellow squash, zucchini. Of course, you want to get them a little bit earlier than this. I know. <laughs> that one got by me. <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, green beans or something else we can grow. Uh, tomatoes, of course, the most uh, favorite uh, vegetable in the garden. Uh, sweet corn, uh, you can grow it. It's a little bit tricky, though, that time of year. is better to do that one in the spring. But it's also the best time to start your uh, herbs. I and know. you've got some wonderful herbs in there as well. And, and Ed, I have to tell you, there's nothing better than fresh corn out of the garden, but you have to have room and you have to treat it like a grass. That's what it is. Yeah, by treating it like a grass, uh, fertilization is just a little bit different. It does need water. I use lawn fertilizer. Lawn yeah. fertilizer is fine because yeah. it's growing grass as well. That's right. And uh, the other trick, of course, is uh, corn's wind pollinated. You need to have a little bit of room so that you can plant at least four rows to get good coverage and get uh, good quality corn like this. Yep. Now, I we'll have a head of cabbage in here, but we can start the seedlings of cabbage in about September, right? Yeah, it'd be excellent in September. It's a little bit early to put them in the ground. It may be warm enough to cause them to bolt, but if you start your seedlings in September, they're ready to plant out in late October and You'll be growing cabbage every couple of weeks if you want, right on through February. I know, it's neat to have those big heads out there. <laughs> and plant several different varieties because they all come in at different times. Also have some of the herbs, like you mentioned, and fall starts the herb season. Absolutely. Because the mint will grow almost any time, but we also have oregano in there and we have uh, rosemary in there. Love rosemary. Now, is growing these vegetables difficult? No, it's not difficult. You need sunlight at least six hours a day a source of water close by. Get away from the trees and the shrubs. They're the biggest plants in the town. They're going to get their share of nutrients and water and they're going to compete with your vegetable garden. And uh, consult with your extension office if you want. That's we, you. That's me. <laughs> we have an excellent publication, the Florida Vegetable Gardening Guide. And it has uh, two pages of varieties that are recommended for growing in Florida. And if you choose those varieties to start with for your first garden, you can't fail. Yeah. Now, how about preparation for the garden? Anything special there we need to know about? Well, we need to get as organic matter into our sandy soils if you're going to grow in the soil. And uh, organic matter is going to help to hold the nutrients and the water in the uh, soil root zone longer for the plants. Uh, you want to get rid of all the weeds that you possibly can. Uh, you want to make sure that the bed is ready to go. Break it up. Make sure that it's as fine and easy to work with as you can so your plants won't have to fight to get the roots into the ground. Yeah, it's too late to solarize at that time, that, that type of treatment uh, that you'll be talking about. Uh, in another segment. Yes, it is. Uh, solarization is something you want to do in the summertime when it's too hot, really, to garden. Yeah. Going to have any pests? We're going to have pests, and you got to be prepared for them. Uh, integrated pest management is so important to a vegetable garden, so you just don't go out there and spray pesticides uh, willy-nilly, if you will. Uh, make sure you know what the pest is. You're going to have stink bugs. You're going to have tomato hornworms. Uh, you're probably going to have aphids in the garden and other caterpillars are going to show up. And most of these pests can either be controlled with horticultural oils, 
don't like to use a lot of it in the garden, but yeah. insecticidal soaps are great. And some of the natural products. And, and hand right picking are, is very important. It's very something good. you can do. Ed's out there picking a lot of them off, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Ed, for being with us. And if you want to get involved, I mean, September is the start of the vegetable gardening season for at least nine months. Call your extension office. They have the bulletins. They have the advice. And you can just bring your problems in, too. That's kind of neat. Thanks, Ed. <laughs>